Hi everybody and welcome to uh, July's edition to the uh, Magdalene Allotment Centre. Uh, where did June go? <laughs> I have no idea. We at the centre had a very busy month with um, with different groups that we have going on and also we went on our retreat. Um, we went away for the weekend, a whole group of us and uh, yeah, it's well, while we were away, it was a beautiful, um, sunny weekend, you know, and we were thinking like, oh, you know, the plants, the water, and I hope they're all okay. So it's like having a small child. I know I've said it before, but it, it is. It's like being very conscious of, right, you, you know, we need to make sure we're back down there to water the plants, check how they're growing. And uh, so, yeah, so when we got back on the Monday, I'll come down in the evening. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's like over the weekend everything had gone whoop, and that includes the weeds as well. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I couldn't, the, the weeds were that high. I, I, I was blown away. So yeah, um, it's, it's just actually um, poured it down with rain. So as I take you around, if I do slip, <laughs> at least we've got a a you been frame moment <laughs> but yeah so yeah it's been great the growth up here has been amazing um and obviously being conscious of you know we need plenty of water supply so that's that's an ongoing uh, thing but we're really lucky actually at the bottom all the way down there all the way down there there's a lovely little stream and it runs clear water as well nice it, it, well it looks nice and fresh i don't know whatever but yeah so obviously we're lucky with that there but so yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk around as I always do and show you guys how it's been coming along. Um, last weekend I spent Friday and Saturday literally just de-weeding, but obviously the weather was beautiful so I managed to get a bit of a tan and being out in the sun as well, it uh, makes you feel good, doesn't it? So yeah, I hope you're all okay anyway, bless you, um, and thank you for continuing to watch. <laughs> Gosh, you must laugh. Anyway, bear with me one second. So what I'm going to do is turn it around and I'll talk you through what's... Not you can see all the... Yeah, the all the potatoes there. They're growing well. But bear with me. Let me turn the video around. I won't be a sec. Right, so this is me just coming out of the shed. This is what you see. So our first plot there. That's the first early, first early potatoes we planted. They've been in a few months now. They're so green and they just look so healthy. Well, I think so. I mean, I'll, this is the first time I've ever done anything like that, but it's, they just, they're doing well. And then obviously here in the little troughs, we have some strawberries growing. We've got the little flower, flowers. Obviously next we'll have the fruit. We've got strawberries there we have sage and the coriander's also growing as well look flowering everything's just growing i mean <laughs> i know that's the intention but it just it's like wow so yeah you can imagine when i've been away for a weekend and then coming back and just seeing all this life it's unbelievable so in the next plot next to the potatoes we have the uh, peas as you can see they're growing we had that small issue with the um, black fly but hopefully that's all sorted now hopefully fingers crossed and uh, everything's just so green obviously the peas haven't done so well there they've kind of been a bit battered along there but anyway we have planted more and the other ones are, they're doing really well so these here, underneath both, they're underneath both of these cloches, they're, they're carrots. Um, I haven't taken the um, the black cloche off because apparently the the fly that the, could actually lives off the carrots can smell it for miles. So I didn't want to be messing around with it and attracting any more little beasties. Um, well, I said spring onion. It's onion. They're huge. Look nice row of that growing now here we've got the spinach now if i was stirred right <laughs> look let me stand back because i'm all they are almost as tall as me now 
if I stand next to them, you'll be able to see. They're like there, so it's kind of headspace. <laughs> They're massive. They taste beautiful as well. Look, you see all the raindrops on them. Oh, I love all that. And then next to there, we have the lettuces, which are gorgeous. We've already had some. We've had a lovely salad made with some. Going all the way back there as well. I just took the first bit off, so you, you know what they look like. But yeah, they're doing well. They taste nice as well. Uh, and that's the other bed of potatoes. If I stand right back, uh, yeah, that's the potatoes. They're the second earlies. And then uh, if I pan back a little bit more, that's all the weeds. Well, they were mega high when they come back. So yeah, and then this is the borage. Now, we grew this borage obviously from seed. And all the same seeds but bless as they started to grow you've noticed we've got just this one plant of this color it's beautiful it's a really beautiful color i sat here the other day while i was weeding all this bit and the amount of bees that were just obviously doing their job getting on with it but it was so lovely just to be sat there now we've got the burma got wild they're growing well um <laughs> yeah there's a few weeds there but you know probably saying the same thing all the time about the weeds it's ever so pretty down here we've got the sunflowers growing as well we've got the just the two here one two they're growing well and um, we've got a bit of a the herb thing going on and some flowers they're growing really well i just wanted to show you look I love this, you know, just the idea of them growing along over the past, just natural and these are the uh, squashes, let me go back so you can see them all, so it's this three we've planted, there you go, they're doing really, really well, everything's just, see, I just love the way they naturally are growing, where they, and that looks like a massive heart, Sending love to everybody. And then we have our tomatoes. Growing here, they're flowering. So we'll have some nice uh, tomatoes. Yeah, they're looking really good. And we'll take you along here. These are the two courgette plants that we planted that are just huge. Um, look. <laughs> I'm going to take the right in because there's a courgette actually growing. Where is it? Can you see? The flower. There. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And the, the, um, the leaves are a gorgeous, like, orangey colour. They look yellow from there, but it's like an orange. Yeah, I mean, look. Huge. And then we have the Savoy. Now I dropped these. They were growing. They were growing from seed. I dropped them. And I thought, well, whether or not they'll grow. Anyway, so we put them in tender loving care. And they're, they're, they're growing. You see they, where the roots are at the bottom, they're growing a bit weird. But now, they're just coming along. And in here, so these are the peas we've put in. But they are just loving life there aren't they and the gorgeous flower absolutely beautiful the color i thought it was a chilly at first when i walked in today gorgeous i thought what well, i didn't realize we'd put chilies there and obviously they're not they're the flower yeah so they're doing good and then on the next this is the other side of the arch we planted some more so no, they're doing all right as well, but and then what we've got here is obviously we've, this is over the arch, and these are growing. These are training up, well climbing up. Sorry, technical words. They're climbing up, and here what we planted all along this fence was like a wild garden, obviously to attract the bees. Our neighbours got bees. You know, hopefully in the in 
you know, we'll have our own bees as well. That's the plan. Look, it's just a beautiful, beautiful, like little wild part. There you go. Let's see. I love this little path, and I just love how it's all grows naturally and. You know, like you see the fruit in the stores, in the supermarkets, and they're perfectly whatever it is you're buying, strawberries or whatever. Now it's just like natural. Oh, I see this lot here. Oh gosh, that's the weed <laughs> off the second plot. But we haven't got that too much growing in that plot anyway at the moment. So it can be, you know. But that's what we walk I walked into on Monday. You know, I was like, oh my gosh, what on earth has happened? But life, that's exactly what's happened. Life has just continued while we've gone on, gone away. So yeah, that's about the um, about the whole uh, the plot with everything growing. Bear with me one second, I'll just turn the camera around. <laughs> so, as you can see, there's been plenty of growth plenty of hard work as well I know you guys that watch as well that you've got allotments you know how hard it is I didn't I ain't got a clue <laughs> but you don't have to build up some tone and you know it's great you're starting to see a little physique now but oh yeah I just wanted to uh, say you know with the onions the massive ones well I originally thought they were spring onion so when I came back the other we'd been away a few days later we were all meeting up and we were going to have some food around Kerry's. I thought, oh, we'll get some lettuce from the allotment and I'll also get one of those spring onions because they look ready. One of the spring onions is in, in my head. Yeah, we'll get some spring onion. That'd be beautiful. So I'd do that and get to Kerry's and, ha you know, show her the salad. Chuffed a bit saying, look, you know, these are the bits from the allotment. She said, what? Well, What's that? Because I'd brought the head of the um, onion with me, you know, because it was massive. It looked like a huge pineapple. I just wanted to, you know, say, look, you know, this is all from the allotment to our friends. And Carrie was like, I said, well, look, you know, I brought the spring onion. She went, what spring onion? <laughs> I was like, uh, the, the, the spring onion? She's like, no, there's... there's the, <laughs> the onion's actually growing in the ground. Um, it's not spring onion. <laughs> so I was, you know, when you just think, oh, <laughs> I felt a little bit embarrassed, but I just thought I'd share that because um, it's life <laughs> and I can be a bit silly sometimes. But yeah, I didn't realise. I thought they were massive um, spring onion and maybe we should enter them into a competition. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, that's enough. Um, yeah. I hope everybody's well. Uh, June whoosh, flew by. Um, everything is uh, as it should be. Um, but yeah, it can get a little bit crazy. Today I come down here straight from work. Working with children, it gets busy. Today I came down here and I sat outside, shoes off. My feet are always black, by the way. <laughs> I enjoy being here, I enjoy sharing time when everybody else is here, but sometimes it's really nice to be on your own and just listening to the birds and the occasional big bee will come flying, you know, flying past, uh, but it's just nature and all around us all you can see is the green, the trees and the birds singing to each other it's so lovely and peaceful and I've needed it I've needed it actually because things do get a bit crazy don't they but um, it's great to be here and the love that I feel and the balance then obviously when I go home <sighs> feels great so yeah listen thank you all so much for watching um, we appreciate it we appreciate your love, your comments, your help, your support. Um, and to all of our friends at the uh, Magdalene Centre, uh, we have a special feast day coming up, which is the 22nd of July, which is the feast day of Mary Magdalene. We are obviously called the Magdalene Centre. So 
if anybody did, would like to look at that, we have our own website, uh, which is the Magdalene Centre. .co.uk. Um, yeah, we're a great group of people who love life and live life, but we're realistic. So obviously, when things are the shit hits the fan, is what I was going to say. We're a great. We come together and we support each other. So whether that's on the internet, which obviously is now the community as well, extended, or whether it's personal one to one. But anyway. So listen, I hope you're all well. Best wishes for um, July. I'm sending you lots of love, appreciation and gratitude. Bless you. Take care. Bye.